Hey everybody, it's Greek Gamer here, coming at you with another video. Today we'll be doing a weapon review on the STG44. I know I'm not going to be talking about the royalty variant, although I'm extremely excited that I finally got the STG. Honestly, I didn't get the footage of it because I wasn't recording when I got the supply drop that I got. I wasn't even paying attention when I got it. Looked it back at my screen, sort of freaking out, finally got the STG. So we're going to do a quick weapon review. The gameplay in the background you're seeing is me using the STG44 Royalty on the map Perplex using Suppressor, Quick Draw, and Grip. I am now known that this is not a good setup. I mean, personally for me, the 30 bullets isn't enough, so I think I changed out the Grip. For the extended mags after this video i've been using that setup i believe so that's the setup i've been using but uh yeah if you guys like the video don't forget to drop the like button a slap in the face to make sure that you guys know you're getting the best content in the future if we can get more than 10 likes i'll be starting a new series tomorrow It'll be a very nice series hopefully you guys enjoy it especially for gta fans out there you guys are gonna love it it's called paint and spray sunday so yeah the breakdown of the weapon starts right here with the damage. The damage is a 3 to 5 shot kill, starting at a 33 damage, dropping off to a 24, and then at a better, I mean, the maximum range is about 24, I believe the stat chart says. With this specific variant right here, I know I said I wouldn't elaborate too much on it, but with this specific variant, you're minusing one for the range, and you're adding one to the mobility and the handling. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this, but it is better in a couple of aspects than the regular STG, so this is what I will be using. Uh, right here in the gameplay, by the way, I ran out of ammo. Sorry for picking up the speakeasy. I didn't even want to use it, so you'll see me purposely try to get killed on the second kill. But, uh, yeah. The STG's iron sights, I think they're decent. I mean, personally, I like the STG44's iron sights. A lot of people like to put an optic on them. It's really all up to you. But again, personally, I like the iron sights on them. But I do kind of like the red dot sight, too. My only problem with the red dot sight and other optics for this gun is the main factor that the red dot sight... Hold on, let me close my door. The main factor about optics on the STG is that the actual red dot sight bounces, and I hate that. And it just bothers me a lot that it does that, and it really gets under my skin. Because if that wasn't there, I would definitely recommend an optic. But for sure, I would recommend the iron sights personally. But uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the challenges you have to do to get this camo. This camo mastery, I should say, to get diamond. Personally, from what I've seen, uh, drop a comment down below if it's not this. But it looks like it's the exact same as every other assault rifle, to be a completely honest person with you guys. But uh, yeah. Like I said, STG, the damage profile is pretty good. This actually, I believe, has a higher, well, a, not a higher, but a, shall I say, a longer three-shot kill range than the BAL-27. This is good for several things, showing that if you are lucky enough to get this gun, yes, it actually is the best statistical gun in Advanced Warfare. I love it to death. I've been wanting this for so long, and I finally got it, and now the only thing left that I've got to get is the SVO, and trust me, when I get the SVO, I will definitely make a video on it, breaking it down just like I did here. Now, I just want to speak quickly. I know Black Ops 3 is going to be on the way, and the beta is going to be out for Xbox One on August 26th. I know I don't have the PS4, so I'll be bringing you technically the latest and greatest, but I will be bringing you the latest and greatest Xbox One Black Ops 1, 3 beta news info gun breakdowns etc etc and hopefully by the time the beta is over i will have one wacky free for all friday episode hopefully that'll be interesting with black ops 3 but i got the hardened edition so expect the Doris remake as well as i'll be showing you guys the new camos that come if you get the hardened slash juggernaut edition and i will be sure to bring out the best and fastest videos on black ops 3 but beta data as well as beta breakdowns on the guns, the maps, the specialists, everything you guys can think of on the gun and the game. So, this is Greed Gamer signing off. Remember, if you don't forget to slap that like button, I'm going to hit you myself. And don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. See you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.